But we're thrilled that you're all here, and I think it shows what a lot of interest there is in, in this technique. Um, we started foaming back in 2001, 2002, for a Varisolve trial. And I have to say, as a surgeon, I was incredibly sceptical that we could treat, if you like, proper varicose veins by injecting foam. But I'd just come down here as the professor, and if I'm honest, I needed to get some funding for my department, and it was a proper bona fide randomized controlled trial. So uh, we went for it, and I think we treated about 30 patients with foam, and um, it worked really well. This was the polydocanol foam that has now become, eventually, after many years later, has become varathena, and we'll <laughs> talk about that a little bit later. Uh, and then we thought, well, what to do? Uh, we didn't want to stop foaming. Um, so we, we started making, if you like, homemade foam um, with fibre vein and as an academic I thought well I want to do this properly so we, we did research and Katie Darvall came as a research fellow and she's done lots of excellent research and publications. So we've had a lot of experience with, if you like, homemade foam, not the um, varathema over the last uh, 10 years. and. Um, most recently, I was part of the NICE uh, process for the guidelines, and we'll talk a bit about that recently. And I think that's been very helpful to those of us that, that are interested in the treatment of, of venous <coughs> disease. Worked uh, very closely with Philip Colwood Smith over the last 10 years, and a bit sort of convergent evolution. We've, we've come upon a way of doing this that is actually remarkably similar, and it works for us and we can show you the outcome data from that method and that's what we'll try to demonstrate to you this afternoon. Um, we don't pretend that it's the only way of doing this and we can't prove to you it's the best way of doing it but if you do it this way these are the kind of results um, that you might expect. Very experienced audience here, we're not here to tell you how to do it or what to do, we, we want it to be very much an interactive two-way discussion during the day. We've got plenty of time for panel discussion at the end of the talks this morning and obviously this afternoon if you're able to stay uh, long enough we've got four cases and there'll be plenty of time to have that two-way uh, discussion with uh, Katie moderating. I'll hand over to Philip Colwood-Smith who's director of the British Vein yeah. Institute and he's going to talk to you about the background to foam sclerotherapy.